Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. It's cold outside, so I'm taking advantage of that and spending some time in the kitchen here because tomorrow will be nice out, so I want to be outside tomorrow. So today I'm planning ahead for the week ahead. Now, the meal prep ideas for this coming week were based off of a roast that I did yesterday. And because I don't just do one, I do two. So I actually had two arm roasts, which are tricky because I wasn't really sure what kind of cut that was. But it's a cross between um, kind of a chuck and a sirloin. So it had a little bit of marbling, which was nice because it really makes for a good leftover roast. So I made two roasts. We ate the roast out of the one time. And then I have a couple containers like this left over. So one of them that I'm going to do is um, like some blackened roast in a pan and kind of do a Mexican with it. I'm also going to do like some barbecue type beef sandwiches, which I can serve with a side of veggies that the kids like. And then I also had some leftover taco meat in the fridge, but it wasn't enough to actually do anything with. So I added a little bit of this fresh roast and I combined the taco meat with a few um, children playing nicely, yeah, beans. And then I made one of these um, stuffed shells. Normally the stuffed shells casserole is like Italian lasagna, but I went kind of Mexican flair with it. And then I put some olives and cheese. And so I will actually put this in the freezer. So I have one of those in the back pocket, used up some leftovers, get rid of that. I made, um, I cooked up a butternut squash. And so I made some butternut squash soup and then I reserved the puree. I'm going to make butternut squash mac and cheese later in the week. And the kids actually, they like it. Um, stay tuned how we can, you know, kill two birds with one stone with doing the squash just one time. A noisy tractor in the background. And with some of the roast, I'm also going to do a quick stir fry and with um, some veggies in there. The kids will eat roasted um, broccoli or stir fried broccoli with some liquid aminos. They don't eat all the other vegetables that go in it, but my husband and I do, so we can have one big pan and feed the kids all at once. And I'll use a reserved grain or noodle that I have in the fridge probably the noodles that I'll also make when I'm doing the mac and cheese. And then I'm also going to do a really fun vegetable beef kind of minestrone soup with the leftovers and you'll be amazed at how quick we can make this go with some of the stir fry business and carrots from the garden and it is a flash and they like it. And there's also a crock pot version too. So I'll be doing a video of that in a couple days as well. And so there I have my week mostly planned out. Um, granted there's gonna be something that comes up during the week, but at least I know I've got a plan and that's half the battle to staying on track for your fitness and your nutrition. So if you have any questions on what this entails or what I do or if you need a recipe, please feel free to comment below and enjoy tomorrow's wonderful weather.